In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a pinwheel afghan. Uh, now, you do not have to make this large as an afghan. You can make smaller ones and use cotton yarn to make a coaster. You can make them a little bit larger and make placemats, you know, just whatever you want to do. But basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making 12 double crochets into a magic circle. Okay, and what a magic circle is basically, it's just a slip knot that has not been finished yet. Okay? Now, if you are really uncomfortable with doing the magic circle, just chain four and then join to the fourth chain from your hook with a slip stitch and start off that way. Okay? But for this video, we're using the magic circle. Now, we're going to be using a method used commonly in tapestry crochet and it is crocheting over your ends so that you can alternate colors all the way around without having to keep you know, cutting your yarn and reattaching it. So to begin, we're gonna be making almost a whole double crochet, okay? So you wanna loop over, go into your magic circle here, yarn over and pull it through, okay? Now you have three loops on your hook, just like you're gonna do a standard double crochet, but you're gonna yarn over and only pull through the first two. Now you have two loops on your hook. Okay, don't finish that double crochet because now we need to join our second color. Okay, so make a slip knot just like that. Join that to your hook and tighten it up. And now you're going to pull that through your remaining two loops. Okay. Just like that. Now, working over the end of your new color and the strand of the color that you started with. Okay, yarn over, go into the loop, yarn over and pull it through. Okay, now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two. Now you have two loops on your hook and we need to stop right there. Okay, now it's also very important to keep an eye on where the, your skeins of yarn are. Okay, my burgundy is on the right, purple is on the left. Okay, and so that you don't get everything tangled up, you need to really keep an eye on how you're flip flopping your yarn back and forth. Keep the purple on the left. Now we need to go back to our burgundy. Okay, so pick up your burgundy color, loop it around, and pull it through those two. Okay, this looks messy right now, but believe me, just, just get it going and it's going to work itself out. Okay, now working over the tail and the strand of purple coming from your purple, your purple skein here. You want to yarn over, go into the loop, just like you're making a double crochet. Pull it up. You now have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull it through. Now you have two loops, so you need to stop. Okay, now this burgundy color is on the right, so I'm going to lay this right down there and pick up my purple. Okay, now holding the burgundy and your tails together right here, go ahead and finish your double crochet with your new color. Okay, working over the ends now, yarn over, go into the loop and pull up for three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Now you have two loops, okay? Now stop right there, drop your purple, pick up your other color, and holding it like this, remember we're working over our ends and the other working yarn. Yarn over and finish your double crochet, okay? Now I'm gonna move that out of the way. Yarn over, go into the loop, working over all of these ends and your other color there. Pull through the first two, okay? And then stop, pick up your other color, yarn over and pull it through. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. We now have five. We need 12. Yarn over, 
working over our tail and our other color. Stop there, drop this color. Yarn over, pull through. So you're basically making an incomplete double crochet. When you only have two loops left on your hook, pick up your other color and finish the double crochet with the alternate color, okay? This is gonna take a minute. Just go slowly. Like I said, this is the most aggravating part of the piece right here. Believe me, it gets so much easier. So, so much easier. Okay, working over the tail and the color. Going through, making an incomplete double crochet. Drop that color. Oh, need more yarn. Pick up the next. See, just like that. Yarn over, in, pull it through, three loops. Just like that. Drop your color. Pull through. Okay, now keep going until you have 12 double crochets in your loop here. Pause the video and I'll show you how to jump up to the next row. Okay, you should have 12 double crochets now. Now grab the end that you started with your magic ring and just pull it just to tighten everything up. Okay, and that's what it should look like. Okay, now your next color is pink here, so of course, you know, you should have the pink pulled up on your hook, or whatever colors you're using. Go ahead and join with a slip stitch, but bring the working part of your other color, bring it over your hook and just let it lay there, okay? Just let it lay on top of your hook like that. You can pinch it with your fingers like that. Yarn over and pull it through for your slip stitch, just like that. Okay, and now we're on the second row, and by laying this yarn over your hook when you do your slip stitch, you have now pulled it up to the second row as well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, just right quick, I always knot my ends before I weave them in. I'll weave that in later. Okay. Now, what you want to do for this row is you're going to be making two double crochets in each of the colors around, okay? So make one double crochet. These are full double crochets, by the way. And two double crochets. But not, the second one is not complete. Remember, because we're going to be changing colors to go back to purple here. Okay. Drop your pink, bring up your purple, loop through, and then complete your double crochet. Yarn over, go into your next color. And what I'm doing here is the working color <clears throat> of the other one that we're not using right now is just laid over my hook. And I'm holding it in place with my fingers just like this so that it is always over my hook. As I pull the yarn through, I'm covering it. And see, just like that you would crochet over your loose ends, all you're doing is carrying the other working yarn all the way around. This is called tapestry crochet. That's when you're not cutting and, you know, tying on new colors. Uh, this is the basis of tapestry. You're just working the other color all the way around and covering it. Oopsie. Okay, pull through the first two. Okay, drop it and let's pick up the next color and loop it through. Okay, and still, you know, I know it looks like I have dropped the other color, but I haven't. It's just, I'm just holding it, you know, over my hook with my other fingers. So yeah, it looks like <laughs> I've dropped it completely, but I haven't. I'm just working it in. Okay, drop that, pick up your other one, and pull it through. So you want to do this all the way around until you have two double crochets and each of the double crochets from the previous row. 
Okay, so just work on that and I'll show you how to jump up to the third row where we'll be making just a few different changes, nothing major, but it is going to help you to get the, the pinwheel effect. Okay, now that we have come back all the way around with our second row, go ahead and join with a slip stitch with the next color just like we did before bringing up your second color of yarn with you. Okay, now what we're going to be doing, go ahead and chain three by the way, chain three, because now what we're going to do is in the first double crochet of every color and every round from here on out, you're going to be working two double crochet in the first one and then one in all of the rest, okay? I've chained three, that's going to count as my first double crochet. Okay, so yarn over, go into that first stitch for a double crochet, and the next stitch do one double crochet. Okay, switch your colors. Okay, in that first stitch, do two double crochet. In the next one, do one. Okay, switch colors. Do two double crochet, then one, switch, okay, two, and then one, switch. two, and then one. Okay, so you want to do that all the way around, switching your colors, <clears throat> excuse me, switching your colors, doing two double crochet in the first stitch, and then one, two, one, two, one, all the way around, and then join with a slip stitch to the top of this chain three. Then pause the video, and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, now that we are back at the end here, I'm going to switch our colors, make a slip stitch in the top of that chain three that you made. Remember to bring your other color up and over your hook just like that so that you can carry it up to the next row with you and complete your slip stitch. Okay, now you can kind of sort of start to see the, the pinwheel taking shape here in the center. Now, from here on out, this is where you're going to start to see your colors, you know, curve a little bit to give you the pinwheel effect. And you get that from doing those two double crochet in the first stitch, okay? If you was just to do one single, I mean, uh, one double crochet in each stitch, it would just be stripes. I mean, you could do that too, you know, if you want. But for this, we're doing, we're doing two in the first one, okay? So you're going to chain up three. It counts as your first double crochet. Yarn over, and once again, you are doing two double crochet in that first stitch, and then one in each stitch after that. One, and one. Pick up the other color, pull it through. Two double crochet in the first stitch, one in each one after that. Drop it, pick up your next color. And this gets easier as you go around. You're going to get faster with changing colors. And um, it's just going to get a lot easier. But that is all that there is to this pattern. That's all there is. You just keep going around, join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three when you get to the end. Remember to carry your non-working color up with you chain three that counts as your first double crochet do another double crochet in the first stitch and then one double crochet in each stitch after that two in the first one one after that two in the first one one after that around and around and around until it's as big as you want it 
And then when you finish it off, you know, you can make a single crochet border, uh, leave it without a border, you know, just whatever type of border that you would like to do. Um, one that I had completed, I used a half double crochet all the way around and it came out really nicely. Um, and that, that's it. That's all there is to this pattern. It, it's really simple. So any color that you want, I'm thinking about doing uh, maybe red and white for Christmas out of some blanket yarn. I think that would be cute. But fairly easy, fairly straightforward. It's a good project, I think, for a beginner um, since it only uses, you know, one stitch. Um, be careful to not use too thin of yarn or too large of a hook because if you do that, once you get up into... Um, you know, the larger rounds, you're going to see the yarn that you're carrying around. You're going to see that in the spaces between the stitches. So you may want to use a hook a one size smaller than what you're used to. Um, I think these, the original pattern for this called for a size five and a half hook. I'm using a five and it, it works out really well. So that's all there is to that. Just keep going. Make it as big as you like. If you would, um, please give me a thumbs up on this video. Also, click that subscribe button. Please check me out on my website and on Facebook. I'll put the links to both of those in the video description box down below. And keep your eyes out for more cool projects. Bye!